Sweet. I'll say, it's actually a really cool opening. I, mm. I thought it was actually very well done. Mm. No penis joke with that one? Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> nice use of fog. He's in the Matrix. Come to six years in the future. Oh, six years. Welcome back. Oh, Lily is looking a little bit like a Rita. A little older. I think they're... This is going to hurt tw no. 20 now? Because they were 14. Yeah, 14. No, yeah, they were 14. Mm -hmm. So your muscles shouldn't have atrophied. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I can move them. <clears throat> That's a relief. Put some clothes when on, jeez. Died, I immediately put your body into this cryogenic device. So that's what happened. I always believed that someday there'd be a way to revive you. Oh, so he died. Okay. Yep. Get your clothes on. A brain you... crash mm. after he threw the virus at Dorothy. Oh. So, what the hell went on while I was sleeping? Yeah, Raglan. Has been at war with the last Galarian they call Ash. The last Galarian, Ash. Just before Dorothy's system was destroyed by the virus, she started a final program, a program that would create the last Galarian, one designed to eliminate <laughs> all mankind, and also serve to resurrect her. Ash's power is horrifying. His body is an out-of-control atomic reactor, and he can make it go critical, scattering neutron rays and radioactivity all around. It's basically a walking nuke. He's, yeah, he's a walking he's nuke. Yeah, he's yeah. a walking time bomb. Michelangelo City. It's already in ruins, and no one lives here anymore. Six years, and it's that Final fucked up? City seven days ago. It's our base for fighting Ash. Yeah, the that's kind of strange. Energy. Well, I mean, unless if Ash if, went crazy, I was gonna say if Ash can basically like, quote unquote, detonate himself. Yeah, that's true. I mean, yeah, six years is a long time to blast a bunch of nukes off. Mm -hmm. You must inject the virus program from your brain into his. The virus that destroyed Dorothy will also work on Ash. That makes no sense. It's taken years to find that out. Okay, that looks cool. Yeah, that's a cool effect. Actually. Yeah. They all obey the last Galarian. The army provides us with all kinds of enemy corpses, which we used for research. Yeah, this and one's a little weirder, because, like, the dead can be, like, reanimated. So mm -hmm. they're almost like zombies. Mm -hmm. It's kind of weird. Trap. Yeah. Yes. A genetic system abnormality that even Dorothy couldn't fix. So it's like... Yes. It's like a self-destruct switch to attack with the virus program. The last hope that our fathers left for us. However, six years ago, we lost the virus program when we lost you. I continued the research so that we could recreate the virus, but it was impossible. Even though we understood it, we couldn't recreate it. But then I noticed that a small amount of power was being supplied to the destroyed mushroom tower. The power was being sent from an enriched uranium refinery factory, Ash's base. <laughs> mushroom tower. <laughs> Look at that shaft. <laughs> Look at that boober. <laughs> I couldn't get past the complex, intricate guard program. I passed my information onto the army. After that, I could only place my faith in the hope that their computers would be able to breach the program. And just as I hoped, they were able to get past it. And it was there that we found the backup data with a family program. That's where you found Right. Eventually, in the vastness of the backup data left by Dorothy, I somehow managed to find you. Rihanna. Or a copy of what... Copy the, of the original the Rihanna, Rihanna, anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There is only one. So he's been recreated two times now. <laughs> At least, well, yeah, more than that. Because that, yeah. technically Kane is still is, is him as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so three. This tragic battle 
And who knows how many times before that. How many of the failed ones were him? But yeah, that's kind of cool, actually, that, like, that whole first segment is basically him, like, her sifting through the data to, like, put him up, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> one yeah. thing the first one need, HP, HP and, and AP. AP have been restored. That is, that yeah. would have been nice. So you don't have to waste rest- Delmeter. Yeah. That doesn't restore your abilities, though. No. Who cares? At that point, like, at least you're not, like, having to use Delmeters or your recovery capsules. Just yeah. like after a boss. Who would battle. build a con like so it's got spikes coming at you? One good sneeze and your face is going into those yeah, spikes. That- <laughs> Just notice that that's a bad design. Tall person. I tripped blink ah <laughs> Alright. Uh here. That's as dumb as like the technology in Star Wars, where mm-hmm. like we we designed this entire Stop. thing. Stop. I Do love Star not Wars. Not attack like, Star Wars. Star Wars is stupid. <laughs> You're stupid. They like, built the ball three times. Two times. They what? They built Death the Star? ball twice. Death Star. Technically three times. Technically, Technically three, three times. times. <laughs> Sorry, Star Killer Base was the Death Star. <laughs> Just super sized. Yeah. We've only got this much of our base mapped out. <laughs> <laughs> Rabbits. It's Pirano, one of Ash's three lieutenants. Oh. Oh, he's a rabbit. So there's a there's another. Uh, he's like spider. I was gonna say he's like one of the, like the bosses, like a Birdman or a Rita. It's like yeah. put on a proper shirt. We don't want to see your belly button. They have a they have an obsession with the midriff. Oh, yeah, Vaughn was the that. same way yeah. in an FF12. That's because that's emo. You mean Final Fantasy X2, right? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, XII. XII. If he wants to fight, let him do it on his own. If he gets in our way, though, we'll swiftly return him. I recognize that voice. How can you be so cool? Don't worry. Our overwhelming firepower will tear the last Galarians and anyone else to shreds. You'll see. Yeah, because this works so well so far. Oh, it doesn't. What? Usually... The uh, voice cast? Yeah, it gives the voice cast. I gotta look it up. But... Oh, there's Pirano. Hmm. I always love when, like... Ooh, Nitro. They're always like, he's in the way! But, like, literally, he's the only thing that can kill anybody. <laughs> Our fire! This, well, it's no, like Starship they, Troopers. No, because they've survived for six years against them. So they're yeah. doing something right. Yeah, I guess. Do I have a map yet? No, I don't. Yeah, see, Ash Whoops. is... Ash is in fact the last Galarian. Yeah, they but, just they but collectively. Are, yeah, but they but yeah. the rest of them are are called one of the last. Yeah, can't be the last. No, Other Ash people still is. Exist. Ash is the last. The last created. The maybe. final created Galarian. Yes. Pat, look at Pat. All right. Uh, okay, we'll go this way. Wait a minute. That's a that's a dude. Well, what's that? Pat, Pat, that's that's a dude. Yes, that is. It's that's, like a little. It's like a little kid. I know, but that's just. It looks weird because that looks like a girl. One. It's even dressed like a girl. It's even voiced by a girl. Oh, <laughs> fucking Paul! So disappointed. It's just weird. <laughs> yeah, as you'll you'll see him later. I just called it her. <laughs> you got me all flustered. <laughs> oh, apparently, Bosch does Pat's older voice. So what do we got here? Under Doctor's orders, developing new PPECs. PPEC. Yep. So this one, like the first, has like this ambient music, mm-hmm. and there's not like outright music, so it's it's kind of cool. But it, I like the. It music. gets kind of old. <laughs> See, I like the music from uh, Galarian's one. Here we go. Yes. The new Beject. It's a new Beject. You need it to inject the new PPECs. PPECs have been placed in each block. However, there's not many of these. Okay. I will use them carefully. Also, this is a communicator for Elaine, the shelter's Sweet. main computer. 
What you need. You can use it to locate your current position, the position of Galarians, and the level of radioactivity. Thanks. Yeah, they have a thing to, sorry, like, tells you how I, radioactive the I environment is, where it, it'll make your AP and increase higher. Mm. So basically you just start absorbing the extra ambient energy and I pretty much. But that's nice, though, that this map actually will give you a cursor, or a compass. Yeah. Look at that, b -jacked. That ain't your papa's b -jacked. <laughs> Boy, that is, yeah, that is scary looking. And the lane communicator. PPEC, R&D planning. Yep, anything else? All right, look at that. Yep, sure enough. Oh, actually, I gotta turn that off. Pat is voiced by a woman. Yep. Uh, where are we? Options. Map rotation, off. Thank you. Yep. There is nothing more annoying to me than having the map rotate with you. I don't understand why people like that. I don't yeah, know. it's... I like a yeah. set direction, so I always know what direction is like north. Mm, yeah. So yeah, that map is much more useful. Yeah. Which actually, while I'm thinking about it, uh, where is it? Plans for the new PPECs. So Bustinator and Breakeron. Nader. Bustin. Bustinor. There you go. Bustinor. Bustinor. I'm like Bustin nut. I was like, <laughs> really? <laughs> Nalcon and D Felon are just as dumb. Break I don't know. I feel like these are kind of dumb. Uh, Breakeron and Bustanor is that, you know the Breakeron I want to see though because it sounds cool. Resulting in electrical load to generate electrical arcs. Oh, so but, basically, it's force lightning. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm like can sweet. Shot, can be inflicted on enemies. Well, I, yeah. I would say yeah. The naming scheme in this game uh, is the series has not been good even in the first one. But I like, I like red is cool. I mean, it makes sense. Because it's Fire. just red. It's literally but, just called red because it's red. Right, but like, it's like if they called nails kind of green. You do realize fire can be green and blue, right? That's <laughs> that's not fire. That's just the temperature of the fire. It's still fire. No. It's in the fire. <laughs> You're fire. Your mom's fire. You're fire. <laughs> You're a towel. <laughs> so, like, yeah. It's, yeah. And, I mean, like, what does D felon have to do with gravity? Uh, defeliciate? Do, do, do I don't know. I can't come up with anything. I was going to make it a fellatio joke. No, they're criminals. That's why they're defelons. <laughs> I was going to make a fellatio joke. It didn't happen. Oh, my God. You're terrible. Uh, let's see. What's the actual select? Okay. And what's nice, too, is, like, in, in if you look at certain areas, like, that's, that's that lab I was in. Mm -hmm. It tells you what it connects to. So, like... I don't have oh, to. Oh, that is nice. It's yeah. just very, very nice. It's it's super useful. Airport terminal. All right. So he told me where to go. <laughs> okay, the royal capsule, re recovery capsule. RC Cola, get it? Say, like, yeah, I get it. RC Cola, yeah, because that's a soda. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, I got it. I don't know I got if it exists it. anymore, does it? RC? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. RC, are you kidding? Yeah. They make cherry RC now. Do they really? Yeah. They actually have another flavor. Huh. I never knew that either. Uh, do you, you know? like RC? I'm yeah. not a big fan of it, actually. RC gives me horrendous gut rot. Does it really? It really does. Huh. Like Pepsi? Yeah. I, if, just... if I have a choice between Pepsi and Coke, I'll probably drink Coke. Because Coke sits better on my stomach. Pepsi is mm. a little... Like, I like the taste of Pepsi because it's sharper. Mm -hmm. But it also hits my stomach harder. See, so, you know, I, I'm the opposite. Like, I feel... It, like, I, I have an easier time drinking Pepsi than I do Coke. Really? Yeah. That's weird. Mm -hmm. It's why... It's like the same reason uh, Coke mixes better. Is because it's a smoother taste. Oh. Depends Pepsi, on what you're mixing it with, yeah. though. That's true. But, like, Coca-Cola kind... Or Pepsi, because of, like, the sharpness of it, doesn't quite yeah, mix as well with certain alcohols. I don't know. Pepsi and rum is actually not, not too bad. Yeah. Uh, I prefer rum and coke, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Pepsi also goes better with, like, vodka and... But like, you're also clear. colorblind, too, so, I mean, it's... What does that have to do with it? <laughs> Why'd you have to bring everything? that in? <laughs> what would that have to bring into it? Because it lets us know your brain is dumb. <laughs> you know what's good, though, and what I miss? <laughs> I miss Pepsi Twist. The oh, lemon Pepsi. Oh, the lemon Pepsi. I yeah. loved lemon Pepsi. Because they had lemon coke as well. and They I, also did uh, uh, Pepsi Lime. I liked Pepsi Lime. Yeah. You people have issues. Vanilla Pepsi. 
They did an orange Which, vanilla Pepsi. That one just did not. I did no, not you like think, that. You would think that that would have worked out very the well. The best one didn't. they ever did was that Christmas spice. Oh god, that was disgusting. <laughs> Christmas spice. They Pepsi. did like a holiday spice Pepsi. Oh, it was, it was not great. It, it's put it this way: like the people I knew that worked at Pepsi were like, "It's the most disgusting thing we've ever." I've created. heard. Uh, well, yeah. I've heard that at um, the Sprite. Because Sprite did that too, where they did like the holiday. They did a ginger one. A ginger was, one. There was a, but the Pepsi one was just. Whoa. But no, somebody um, who was working at a, a grocery store at the time, I guess the distributor came in and said, "Yeah, if you like Sprite, like don't don't drink this because it's, <laughs> it, they they changed the formula of Sprite to accommodate. accommodate for the for the flavor. That makes sense. So it's like, yeah, don't don't yeah, stay away from this. Yeah, like I like cranberry Sprite. Cranberry Sprite's fucking yeah, phenomenal. Yeah. I like Cherry Sprite, obviously, because Cherry can I like the, I like the uh, what is it, like the Cranberry uh, Splash Sierra Mist. Mm. Oh, love that mm -hmm. stuff. That's like Christmas So stuff. are you just going around collecting items right now? Basically. For sure. This this whole part right here, like, the, the only reason I know where some of these items are, I spent, you played it I spent maybe an hour before I actually fought another fight because... Like just look those around, complaints you were, yeah. Like those complaints were, they don't fucking tell you where to go. Oh sure. And sure. they all like nothing is anything. No. Like these people will talk, but it's like stupid shit. If we use the bow the ammo, well, we're going to say like nothing. They're NPCs. That's what they do in like ninety nine percent of games out there. But dude, go true. talk to the average town person in RPG. What do they do? I know. Welcome but, to this town. But we're dumb. Well, no, that's <laughs> useful information. Welcome to this town. That tells you where you are. I am error. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually it was an RPG thing that I remember reading was uh, creating good NPCs should always have some sort of valuable information, even in a non, like even if it's not direct, they should no still provide you some form. No developer follows that. Some do. That's why I I really like RPGs where they make it where you can't talk to everybody. Mm. Look at uh, actually I'm playing Tales of Berseria right now for the uh, PS4. They let you know who's worth. talking to. They let you know who's worth talking to because they will tell you something pertinent or mm. some sort of world building. Interesting. Whereas like you talk to this fucking clown right here, don't lose hope. As long as we live, there will be a way. Like. Okay. <laughs> yeah, at least, and then Berseria will tell you on the well, map. Well, like, he's who important you can because talk at to. this point you're you're, you're losing hopeless. hope. You yeah. have no idea where you're going, <laughs> and he just helped build you up and said, "Hey, neither do I. Don't lose hope." Yeah, that's it. But this is basically the first level, so there's going to be like, yeah, I'm going to have to go through like roundabout ways to get back to these floors and all sorts. Of <laughs> like, where's all the Scooby snacks, Scoob? Scoob. <laughs> 